Hey guys, uh, welcome to the channel as always. And uh, I got to uh, see the final result here. Basically, there it is. Happy with how it came out. As you can see. <clears throat> it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. It's two coats. It's going to be so darn shiny, I'll probably wish I had done more up here because I don't think I'll get the not even close to the same shine up here on the older stuff, but kind of wishing maybe I should have done the whole thing. Definitely shiny. Got one little hair which sucks, but I don't know if you can even see it, I'll turn the flashlight on. There it is. That's a hair, or it's not a hair, it's uh, off that tally. Cloth. So we'll just talk about final preparations. This tack cloth, tacky cloth or whatever. So right before you go to paint, you take this cloth, wipe it all down. Okay, that's just the key. You gotta, it's got a sticky. It takes any kind of tiny little particles out, and. Uh, those tiny little particles will give you that imperfection in the paint if you forget to do it. So here you can see it, you know. Came out pretty nice, pretty decent. Makes you realize how beat up your tunnel is. But that's regardless. Um, so right before painting, run this tacky cloth over top. You know, you're just gonna rub it on there. And there's only one other thing, you're gonna spray evenly, you know. You wanna get at least two coats, preferably. Um, three coats is even better. About 15, 20 minute dry time between coats. And uh, the other big thing is if you're doing it like me, just working out of your garage, is airflow. So it's very key, after you're done painting, to get this fan, to get the airflow, you want to get that dusty, those particles out of this thing, or thing, what the heck, it's called a garage. Um, so you want to get the air flowing, uh, for my case, my example, open up the doors, so one, two, open those doors up, boom, open up the back door, turn the fan on, and let it blow out, and it like clears the whole room and probably... I would say 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, it's as clear as it is now. So that's huge and that's something that always gets overlooked is bad airflow. Um, and what happens if you leave it, then all that, call it paint dust in the air will come down and it'll come back down on your paint and it'll wreck your paint. You won't get this nice clean finish. So just those key things are use this little tack cloth that's just a little hidden thing that painters do and the second thing is get good airflow so that you know you got stuff you got this stuff all blown out of the uh, garage before it has a chance to land back on your paint so what else did I want to talk about uh, I can't think right now oh yeah I guess the first most important thing is put on a mask because if you don't have a mask um, I got a 3m one here you're definitely gonna get pretty high in a closed building so wear a mask uh, for your own protection you want to wear one and then you want to get it uh, ventilated as quick as possible and uh, yeah, happy with the results. Looks good, looks clean, nice and shiny. Sure, I'll scratch that up right away on the first ride, but whatever, it is it is what it is, so. Uh, skid's going in next, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys.